Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite lipsticks that I use throughout like all year or some of them are like mostly that I use like during summer or fall. So I'm super excited to share them with you guys. So keep on watching. <laughs> So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite lipsticks. Um, some of these I like to wear them throughout the entire year. Some of them I only like them during like specific seasons like summer or spring. And others I like them just during like the fall or winter. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lipsticks I want to share with you guys today. And they do range from like highest to low. And I will be putting up the price up here. But I, and I will also be linking them down below in the description box so if you guys want to check them out later. So the first lipstick I wanted to share with you is actually on the higher end. Um, I did get this one at Sephora but I believe they don't carry it anymore so I did see it on their actual website, on the YSL website. And this is their the lipstick. Well it's actually more like of a tinted lip balm. But before we get into it, can we talk about that packaging? Like this packaging is simple, but yet so like luxury, luxury-ish in a way. Like it's it's heavy and it's like silver and it's silver. And then like right here, this detailing, it's like gold and it has like the YSL emblem branding. And then like what I like about it is that if you see right here, it's red. So that changes according to the color of the lipstick. So mine is red, so therefore it's red. But if it, if it was to be pink, then that would be pink, which I think is pretty cool. But anyways, so you open it and it's red. And it has a little black heart in the middle. And what that black heart does, it's it plumps up your lips. So as you're putting it on, you start to feel it tingle a bit because it's plumping up your lips. And I call this a lipstick, but it's it actually says it's a like a tinted lip balm and this is in the shade six which is a lumi tigrette and like i said earlier um i couldn't find it on the website on the sephora website but i did find it on the ysl website um and i got this a few months back and i purchased it in sephora so i don't know why it's not on their website but anyways so this lipstick or lip balm it's like super comfortable to wear, like super comfortable, like you don't feel it on your lips. It, here, let me see if I can have a try on for you guys. So that was like two passes, I think, or one, one and a half or two. But anyways, like I said, this is like super comfortable to wear. And it's like, uh, it gives you like a nice wash of color without it being too dramatic. You can build a color if you want to but for me I think I'm always like good with like one or two passes so like I was saying this lipstick is hydrating in a way like even though it's a plumping lipstick I found that other like plumping lipsticks can be drying but this one's not so much um it's like hydrating like I said it's comfortable to wear um you really don't feel it on your lips besides like the tingliness but after that's done like you just don't feel it and it gives you like like a nice wash of color um and it's comfy and it's like super smooth to apply but yeah this retails for $39 and like I said at YSL or Sephora and I will be linking them down below and I think I've already said that I keep repeating myself moving on to the next lipstick and this one is also uh, like on the higher end and I did get this one at Sephora as well and this is from Charlotte Tilbury and it has like her little like the, her initials at the top and it comes in like a, a gold, like rose gold tube. Um, and this one is in the shade Stoned Rose. And it is more of like a corally like um, color. It's like, I don't know, like it's low. Okay, so there we go. And it's more of like a corally pinkish color. Um, I'm gonna just like swatch it first and then I'm gonna put it on my lips. You know what I just remembered? I forgot to swatch the other one. It's okay. All right, so this one I'm gonna swatch it on my wrist, and like I said, it's like feels so smooth. Even the, like as you're applying it, it just like glides on really easily. It's like so smooth. But anyways, like I said, it's super comfortable to wear. It has like a not like a matte finish, but more of like a satiny, like glossy look to it. So 
as I was like looking up the price for this lipstick, I found out that it has um, UV like protecting like properties. So it like protects your lips against like UV damage, which is actually pretty cool because it's kind of like, I guess, sunscreen in a way, but I'm not really sure if it does have sunscreen, but it said it has UV properties, UV protecting properties, which is pretty cool. So let me try it on for you guys. <laughs> So as I mentioned, it was super smooth. It's super smooth to put on and it's pigmented. I think like with one pass, maybe two, you'll be fine because the color is super pigmented um, and it's also very long lasting. Like it stays on all day, like literally all day, which is pretty cool, which I think it's, it's worth it for the price point of it. And it's very hydrating, so it doesn't dry out your lips. Um, unless you like you want to like bite or lick your lips then yeah you're gonna take off the lipstick but if you just leave it on without touching it or anything it'll it'll stay and this shade is one that I like to wear um, during like the warmer season so like maybe like spring there's like the end of spring slash summer or like when I usually like to wear this lipstick um, but yeah this one's a really good one and I think it, and it retails for $34 so the next lipstick I want to share with you guys is from OG and I like their packaging. It's like very simple. It's like white and gold and I feel like the gold just makes it stand out. And this is their Hydroganic Sculpted Lip Oil and I feel like this is like a two-in-one. It's like a lip balm and like just like a lipstick kind of in, in there because it gives you like a nice wash of color and it just hydrates your lips and it has like good ingredients and it's also natural and organic. So this one's on the clean side. But yeah, this is the shade Nolana. And it is, it looks like this. And as you can tell, I've been wearing, I've been using it. Um, and it gives you like it kind of it's like a kind of like a brownish um color, but it's like so pretty. So this is a color that I wear. Well, I haven't had this for so long, so I wore this in the sun like throughout the summer, like at home because I can't wear colored lipsticks because I wear a mask when I go out so you can't really see them but anyways this is a color that I like to use in the fall because it's kind of like more on the brownish side so I feel like it kind of just gives it like that moody look to it especially during the fall um, but yeah this one has jojoba oil in it and it also has hyaluronic acid which is like good for your lips because it just keeps them hydrated and it also has peppermint in it so when you like put it on and when you smell it, you can smell the peppermint in it. And it also gives you, and I'm going to go ahead and take off my other lipstick that I had on and put it, put this one on for you guys. Okay, so with this color, you can build it, but if you just do like one or two passes, it'll give you like a sheer cut, like wash of color, which is also nice, especially if you're going more for that natural look. But if you want to build it and make it pop, then you can do that but for me personally I only do one or two just because it's it's perfect and it's like very comfortable on the lips you really don't feel it you can kind of like smell a peppermint on it but I really other than that I really don't feel it on the lips which is actually kind of nice um, but yeah this one retails for $26 and you can get them get it on their website so the next lipstick, well actually the next two lipsticks I have are from Anastasia Beverly Hills and these are her matte lipsticks and they retail for $18 each and you can get these at Sephora or Ulta. And the first shade I want to share with you guys is the shade Buff and this is like more on the like a nude side, kind of like has pink undertones and it, let me take this off, and like I said it's on the matte side. So for me, it's very pigmented, just one pass and it's like boom. All right, so for me, what I find with matte lipsticks is that they're more drying. Oh my goodness, my shirt. Like I was saying, like matte lipsticks are more drying for me, so they tend to dry out my lips. And then when that happens, I bite them a lot, which makes them just like start peeling. So what I usually do before applying a matte lipstick, I put on like a lip balm or like a chapstick just to kind of prevent that and give them like a little boost of hydration but yeah these are matte they're super high um 
super matte actually and they're very long lasting so if you're one that doesn't like bite your lips or licks them then they'll last but for me since i tend to bite my lips and lick them when i'm wearing a matte color um it just comes off so i usually just take this with me everywhere i go so i'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on for you guys so you guys can see how it applies but first i need to take off the other color and I didn't put on any lip balm just because I want you guys to see how it applies without any. And since my lips are already dry, it kind of like struggles to glide on there. So I kind of have to like tug at it. Mm, but like I said, it's very pigmented. You really don't need to like do multiple passes. I feel like maybe like one or two and you'll be fine. Um, it does last if you don't touch your lips, if you don't lick your lips. But if you're like me and starts to lick them whenever you feel they're dry, then obviously you can start taking off some, off some of that color. But like it's more like fall, somewhat summer because it's kind of like new to, you know, summer you know, you're going to have your new tones. But fall because it kind of looks darker than other, some of the other um, shades, some of the other lipsticks that I've showed you. So yeah, this is one that I would probably use in the fall. Um, the next one from Anastasia is the shade Rogue. And this one is more of like, so this one, it has kind of like reddish brown tones to it. And it is matte. Um, and this, yeah, like I said, this is a color Rogue. And one pass. And look at that. It is super pigmented, kind of like the other one. Like her lipsticks are just super pigmented. But yeah, as you can tell, it's darker. And this one has more like reddish brownish tones. So this color would be perfect for fall or or winter. Um, if you're like me, I prefer to use to use like darker tones in the fall. And again, I didn't put on any lip balm because I just want you guys to see how it applies without it. So yeah, that's how it looks on the lips, and like as you can see, it's darker. Um, so that's why I prefer this one for the fall or winter. Um, but yeah, this is a gorgeous color. It's one of my favorites. It was actually the first Anastasia um, lip lipstick that I bought from her. But yeah, like I just love how it looks. So gorgeous. And the next lipsticks I want to share with you. Well, I'm not really sure if they're considered lipsticks, but I don't know. But anyways, these are from NYX. And these are the Power Powder Puff Lippies. It's kind of like a lip cream, actually. That's what it says on here. So these are the two that I absolutely love. This one right here is the shade Moody. And then the other one right here is the shade Squad Goals. And I'm first going to be talking about this one, Moody. And actually these retail for $8.50. And I got these at Ulta, but I'm pretty sure you can get them like at Target maybe. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so yeah, I got these at Ulta. And the first one I want to talk about is like is the shade Moody. And this one has more of like purple like plum colors and this is how it looks when you first open it so that's how it looks when you first open it and this one has like i was saying um purple like um tones to it like kind of like plum or like mauvey looks like tones and that's how it looks so it is more on the darker side and this one would also be perfect for fall which is like what i really use it for like during the fall because it is a dark color, like I, I've said. Okay, so now that I took off the other lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and try it on for you guys. And how I usually, how I usually like do this, I just kind of give it a tiny squeeze, and then I start just like slow, oh, like going like that. And then sometimes as I'm applying it, I'm squeezing it. So what I like about these um, lipsticks or like powder puff lippies is that like as you're applying it if you can feel it it feels wet but then it just dries completely and it stays on all day it doesn't feel like drying on the lips it feels comfortable actually you can't even feel it on the lips once it's like dry which feels really nice it'll last all day um you can build a color but for me, I'm fine with like one or two passes, um, but yeah, like, I don't know, these lips, lip powder puff lippies are just like, 
really good and it's they're not really they're great for the price that they are it's like 850 for each so these are like super awesome so if you're looking for like an affordable lipstick that stays on all day try these out these are so good and they have a lot more shades so this is the shade moody and the next one i want to share is the shade squad goals and this one it has more like pink undertones and i'm gonna apply it right underneath so it's this one right here and it has more pink undertones compared to moody and this one's obviously a lot lighter and this one i like to use all year just because it's like a natural color i feel like once you put it on your lips it just looks natural so that's why i like using it all year because it'll go with like any outfit that you have and it's like i don't know i just feel like it goes with everything so now i'm going to show you guys how it applies and i didn't put anything else on my lips so i'm just going to go ahead but yeah this like glides on so smoothly it's like perfect for like everyday looks or all year round i feel like it looks natural on the lips like it's a natural color so it won't like pop out so i feel like this one would be perfect for like work or whatever but yeah the last one that i want to share with you guys is from physicians formula and i got this one at target for six dollars i think or eight dollars can't remember but it was less than 10 but i'll put it i'll put the price up here because i can't remember but yeah i got it at target and this is in the shade brazilian nut and it's kind of like a brown color um let's see i'll put it right here so it has more like kind of like reddish brownish tones to it so and this one also has spf 15 so this one would be perfect for summer spring it's actually perfect for all year just because um it'll protect your lips from the u from the sun and like you know any uv rays and stuff so yeah this one is like super comfy it's like a glossy finish to it so it will dry out your lips and since it has like mer mer merle butter it's like hydrate i can't remember if i said it right merle merle butter I don't know, since it has Merle Mer 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 butter, it's like very hydrated on, the lip, hydrating on the lips, so it's like very comfortable to wear. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it, how it looks on the lips. And I just feel like this lipstick is very pigmented. So again, like you only need like one or two passes, but you can build a color. It feels so nice on the lips. It just kind of like hugs your lips in a way and gives them like a burst of hydration. Um, but yeah, they have a lot more shades and this one's like one of my favorite shades. Um, it's, it's easy to just throw in your bag and go. Um, but yeah, this one has SPF 15 and it is a chemical SPF. Um, so if you're one, if you want to like prefer mineral SPFs, then maybe this is not for you. But yeah, this is a chemical SPF in here, but it's so good. It protects your lips, so you get a good wash of like a good color. Um, it's affordable and it looks really nice on the lips. So that was it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my favorite lipsticks. And as you saw, some of them I love to wear them all year round. Others I love them during like the warmer times like spring, summer, and others I love to wear during like the like winter or fall, which tend to be like darker lipsticks. But yeah. If you guys have other lipsticks you want me to try out, please comment down below. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye!